Hello and welcome to a basic Java tutorial on the use of static members and methods in classes. In this episode, you're going to learn about static and what that means in Java. You'll learn that static is something that refers to only the class in Java and not any particular instance in that object-oriented concept. And so by the end, you'll be able to tell the difference between a method and a member that pertain to an instance of that class. And then using the static access modifier, something that refers to the entire class or an ax uh, member of that entire class, which would be a static member. I have written a basic Java class titled program with an empty main method. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the use of static members and methods and how they're used in conjunction with objects. So I have nothing in this class yet. I am going to um, use the example of a program. And in this, I'm going to create a member, a private string titled name. and I'll give it a default name. And then we're also going to have a public method that returns nothing, public void um, execute that prints out um, a name system out print line executing and then we'll put the name there we'll also create a constructor program that takes in the name in this you see that I have my private name member name is name and I'm passing in a name. How you can deal with this, we noted on the this notation before, when I say this dot name, that refers to this name right here. And so I'm executing uh, what I want to assign to this name. But when I use just the word name here, it's referring to the argument that I'm passing in. So in this constructor here, I'm, I'm setting the value of my member of the class name to the value of the name of the parameter that I'm passing in. And that will change that program's name. One other thing that I'm going to set out here is a public static um, let's see, with the program we're going to say language language used and we're going to set this to Java. Public static string language used. And public static void print language used. I'm going to create this simple method to print out the language used. Language used. And I'm going to use this notation. Note that in printing out this variable, I am not I am using the proper class name program with the capital P dot and then language used because a static variable and a static method they refer to something that is associated with the class rather than something that is associated with an object of that class so that's why I'm using this program notation here Pr pri uh, print language used would also work the same way when called so what we're going to uh, show you is that we do have a main method down here and I am going to um, inside 
execute. I'm also going to print out system out print. Um, actually, I'm going to call that static method. I'm going to call program dot print language used. So note that again, I'm using the class name to execute that, but this execute is actually within an object because it's just a public void. It does not have a static access modifier. So this execute is actually on an actual instance of an object. So in our example here, we're going to create two different programs. Program one equals new program, and we're going to call it prog1 by passing in that string. We're also going to create prog2 and again pass in a different name. Now we have two different objects. These objects are um, both the same type but they have different names. Now that we have both we're going to execute one and execute two. What we expect to happen is in the execute method it will tell us which one we're executing and then it will print the language used which is this static method. You can see that nothing about this language used has anything to do with the object. We didn't uh, set anything about Java when we executed the uh, created the object or executed the object. We're simply printing something that's related to the entire class on different programs. Now that I go in and I compile this and run it, oops, I have my old example there, Java C program.java, and then we run program. You can see that I'm executing prog1, language used as Java, executing prog2, language used as Java. This language used as Java is referring to the same static method that we have here, which is referring to the same static member that we have associated with our class. And note here that the difference between a static member here and a an instance member here is that this default name or this name here can only be associated with something that we actually create versus something that's associated with the entire class and can be used even if you don't instantiate the object. As noted we can, before we instantiate this, we could run program print language used even before we have an object. Compile that, run it, and note that it has that same thing printed out earlier before we created the objects. And there's your explanation on the use of static members and static methods as opposed to object members and object methods. So you've learned about static and how it pertains to methods and members of classes and that static really refers to the class itself rather than any given instance of that class. And on the website I have created a series of questions on this topic which you can locate by looking for Java static um, under the questions list. Um, there is also an assignment that you will find that will challenge you to program your own class similar to what I've done in this exercise but challenges you to do something a little different and exercise this knowledge.